There's an eel and a shark at the bottom of them. Stop it. I'm not gonna stop it. N, 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 A. Uh-oh. Close, okay. Good morning! Yeah. So I just did a real and raw video of like footage with Naomi, and I'm gonna do that again today because you guys really liked it. We're gonna do some different stuff today, and I'm gonna challenge her a little bit. She is getting over a little bit of a cold, but she is well enough where she can work, and I am gonna push her. So I brought some, some bri briberies. They're called M&Ms. And um, <laughs> I don't usually ever do this because today I am gonna push her a little bit more than usual. Okay, also, we got a brand new talker. Do you want your talker to help? Okay. We did get a new talker because the other one fell in the bathtub. It didn't, she threw it in the bathtub. This one the insurance paid for, it's bigger and way louder. It's also slower than an iPad. I um, not. Now, before I started recording this video, Naomi actually completed, well, she didn't complete the whole book, but she was working no, on no, this no. book by herself. Usually, I sit with her and guide her to help her with the pinching and the pulling and no. the placing in the right spots, but today, I didn't even help her at all because she was doing it right, yeah. and that's what I'm wanting. She even tried to fix the octop octopus that ripped. So we're gonna keep with the ocean theme today, just because that's fun, ocean theme. So I'm gonna get her focused, and I'm gonna stop talking and just do Happy. All right, we are gonna learn, Naomi, we are gonna learn about the water animals. All right, so we're gonna do fish. Fish. We're gonna do, this is a fish. 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 Did you see in your book the octopus, octopus. today? Octopus. Here. Right now, I'm trying to focus on building her vocabulary. Even though she cannot say these words, she is becoming more and more familiar with them. Also, if you haven't noticed, the words are written under the picture on her talking device. So as she grows with her device, as we work with her letter recognition and reading, she will start to read the words under the picture as she's pressing the button. Okay, this is what the I. Say I. Uh -oh, I. The button board is such a great tool for her. It works on her motor planning, skills, pushing, body awareness, in this case it's eyeball awareness, and colors. So this is building more vocabulary. Is that orange? Is that orange? No, it's not. What color is it? Green. Green, okay, green. Green. G, can you say G, look at me. G, green. Green. Okay, what color is that? White. That's not white. What is it? Yellow. Okay, so where does the yellow go? For some reason, she really struggles with matching the colors to the colors on the board, so we just keep doing it over and over again. But also sometimes, the, I think she really does get overwhelmed with this activity. One, because there are a lot of dots to put on the page. Sometimes I wonder if she's thinking, I have to do all of this, and she just wants to, she just wants to quit, right? So in, in, when she feels that way, I've noticed that she may act out, run away, play games with me, purposely distract herself to get her out of the activity, you know, that kind of stuff. There's a fine line that I have to walk with her, and I have to constantly be trying to read into her actions and figure out what's actually happening inside her little brain. Also, as mom, I get to be the one to know her better than anyone else, so I've got that Put in my court. Put it on. You need to work. When I think she's about done, instead of letting her just quit, I try a few things. Number one, cue words. For example, work and try Can again. Mommy take a turn? No. Can mommy take a turn? What color do you want me to get? Green. All right, I'll get green. I'm gonna get green. Secondly, let me take a turn. This is the way I model good behavior and get her to refocus. It goes right there. Yeah. What color is that? Buh, buh. Blue. Blue. Ooh. 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 Good job. 
So blue. Where does the blue go? But let's talk about this strong will this that she has, which many of you guys have commented and you've noticed, and I don't really talk about it that much. I have been told by therapists, by other people who have children with Down syndrome and, and other teachers that work with kids with Down syndrome that they are very strong-willed and stubborn. It's some kind of trait. It's a trait. They do what they want to do when they want to do it and they don't really care about what other people think, which could be a good thing. However, it's not an excuse ever, 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 ever. But it does tend to make things a little bit more challenging for me and I have to be really creative with this. Now, many are going to say that God gave them this quality as a gift. And as for Naomi, I can honestly say this gift is going to take her far. When I think she is about done, in order to remind her that I am still in control, I am the authority figure in the room, I have the final say. And I do that by saying three more. Do the last three. Where does that one go? Maybe Even if I have to do hand over hand, we will finish the task. However, many times she steps up to it and uh, finishes the task anyway. Pink. Good job. Get the other pink. Me? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pink. Is that where it goes? Yeah. Sit on my hands. Sit on my hands. No, no, no. You do it. Hi, Ten. You want to show them? She actually hates to color because it is a lot of work. All right, let's pick out a picture. What do you want to color? You wanna, you wanna color the shark? Or do you wanna color this, the crab? The crab? Crab. Crab or jack crab. You wanna do the crab? That's a hammerhead, hammerhead shark. That's a hammerhead shark. All right, what colors do you want to use? Okay, so first things first, you are left-handed. So can we finish his shell over here? Let's do in the lines like this. Good job, Naomi. Good job, look at that, it's all green. Do you wanna do this red? Let's finish it red. We're gonna flip the crayon and pinch. Yeah. What? <laughs> you wanna do your song? Pick a bay crayon, pick a bay crayon. Right. When she colors, like most kids, she scribbles. But to add to this, she only does a little bit at a time. She doesn't want to put the full effort and the work needed to fill up the entire creature. She will do horizontal, vertical lines, dots, but it's very rare that I get her to do the whole creature. So I have been working on her with this. And a lot of the time I use hand over hand and just a lot of Good encouraging job. words. He's like a rainbow crab. Let's get, oh, let's get his claws. You did such a good job, girl. It's the up and down and up and down and the curve. All right, let's do the other one. And I'm trying to let her do most of the guiding. All right, I know, it's a lot of work. Okay, up and down and up. Look at that, you're mostly doing the work there. All right, all right, you wanna do yellow for the mouth? You want to do it red too? Yeah. All right, you do. Good. Mm -hmm. Good job. It's all done. Do you want to do your shark? No. no, no. You want to show? You want to show you show your brothers? Wait, let me show the camera really quick. Do you want to show show them? A couple things I want to mention. We worked horizontal, we worked vertical, we worked diagonal, and we did the curves within the coloring. I also let her do probably 50% of the guiding, sometimes 75%. I always kept my eye on the grip, the crayon grip. Just like, so we use a lot of learning without tears, and one of their philosophies is little hands, little writing utensils. Do you want to do the shark? No. What? No. You want to write your name? No. Oh, okay. No. You're going to write it at the top by yourself? 
You want to write it on this? Yeah. You got the eye down? Uh oh. No. 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 Okay, so can you write an N? She likes to write eyes. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Mommy? Uh huh. Okay, so look, I'm gonna write your name down here. Down, slide up, slide, slide, zip. Oh, down, down, up, down, and then your eye, zip, zip. I'm gonna let her do 100% of the tracing. 100% of the tracing. I. N, 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 A. Uh oh. Uh huh, and do the zip. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's really good. Your O. Oh. Close, okay. Good. Okay, let's switch care colors. And we're gonna trace this really good. Alright, let's do green, but I'm gonna I'm gonna guide your hand, okay? So pinch, let's go down, slide up, slide, slide, zip. Oh, <laughs> down, slide up, down, and you can do the eye by yourself. Go ahead and do the eye. That's so good. Huh? You want to show, can I show the camera? Can you show them? Can you show them? So now, I'm gonna give her a choice of what she wants to do. We can either do some shape and patterns, or we could do some Play-Doh and building letters. And then I'm gonna close with a book. I might do another video with just me showing you how I read books and make them interactive with her with the talker device. Do you want to do shapes and patterns or Play-Doh? Which one do you wanna do? Uh, you wanna do shapes and patterns? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna bring it a little bit down. I'm gonna start at the top and go slide. This is a little bit more challenging than the squares. It's a star, I'm gonna trace that one. Good trying, that's really good trying. This one's tricky, so you're gonna go curve, line. Down here is the same thing. So we're gonna go curve, line. You want to do that one by yourself? A lot of this is just teaching you that you need to complete the page and trace. And eventually you'll be doing this by yourself. Ta-da! Ta-da! Here, you know what? We're loading you up with M&Ms. Are you going to pinch? Pinch with this, this one. Yeah. Orange. It has an eye too. It has an, it has an eye. <sighs> Ready? We're gonna read a book now. A hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole at the bottom of the sea. I'm gonna use her talker now. <gasps> there's a shark. Where's the shark? Let's find the shark. Shark, where's the shark? Sea lion. It's not a sea lion. Where's the shark? Yeah. Great white shark. That's a shark. And there's a shark at the bottom of the sea. What does the shark do? Let's go to actions. What? Oh, he does that with his teeth. So he eats. He goes chomp, chomp, chomp. He eats. He eats. I eat. 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 Good job. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole at the bottom of the sea. Do you want to turn the page? Let's turn the page. <gasps> Is he sad that we turned the page? Oh no, do you feel sad feelings? He's feeling sad. 
Sick. Yeah. Sad. He's sad. Oh, I'm so sorry. But guess what? There's an eel and a shark in the bottom of the sea. So let's see if we could find that eel. Ooh, there's the eel. Where is he on your talker? Do we have an eel? Eel. Oh, eel. we found it. I'm Great show white you. shark. Eel and the shark it's, at the bottom of the sea. There's the shark at the bottom of the sea. There's a shark, there's there's an eel, there's a shark, there's an eel, there's a shark, there's an eel, and a shark at the bottom of the... There's an eel and the shark at the bottom of the sea. There's an eel and a shark at the bottom of the... Sea. Oh, there's an eel and a shark, there's an eel and a shark, there's an eel and a shark at the bottom of the... Good job! All right, so we're all done with the book. Let me know if you want us to do like a book reading where we're a lot more active this week, kinda. We didn't do our full like book reading session. Until then, we are done. Do you wanna say goodbye to your friends? Bye. Right, bye. Just in time, Wella's here at the door. She's here. Go get it, it's Wella. I think I hear her. All right, perfect timing.